Roll film. Ready, one on reader. A few minutes ago, the ABC's television station in Perth, ABW Channel 2, was officially opened by the Postmaster General, Mr Davidson. Good evening. Good evening, David Ellery in Perth. Good evening, Deborah Kennedy with ABC News. This is ABC News. This is ABC News. Good evening, Alison Hembra with ABC News. Laugh from the sublime to the ridiculous. capital of the Swan River Colony, Foundation 1829, population 500. Gold smuggling has always been a colourful part of the West Australian gold fields. A crew of 30 or so, three cameras, 130,000 watts of light and up to one million dollars. Optional editions. My, how I'd like to see those stinkers again. A stranger in this part of central Western Australia might wonder at its loneliness and incongruity with the landscape. Hello and welcome, I'm Geraldine Millett. Summer, City Beach was in the news as the scene of a brief excursion into the forbidden realm of topless sunbaking. This little volume that owes so much to the 19th century that it's soon to be serialised by the BBC explains various concepts like Section 99 will stop you discharging any cannon or other firearm of greater calibre than a common fouling piece. Well, I'm told this is perhaps the ultimate deterrent for thieves. Oh! oh. One of these people could be Western Australia's one millionth citizen. The identity of Western Australia's one millionth citizen is unimportant. This machine allows you to edit what you're writing before it's typed onto the paper. Well, Frank, what do you think of this latest invasion to the man's world, women jockeys? Well, uh, really, Bob, they've invaded our world for quite a few centuries. Now we can't do without them, you know. Hey, well, Frank, I don't think these girls are all that serious. They're just out for a bit of fun. Uh, Frank's been saying pretty nice things about uh, women jockeys, much to my surprise. Do you want to become a woman jockey or just in this for fun on Saturday? I think it's just for fun. Has the activity in the brains of these children slowed down? Are their powers of creativity and concentration dulled? Yes say two Canberra psychologists, that's what television does to you. One should first of all say that television by itself doesn't educate. Teachers do that and learners learn. Oh, can't you hide? OK. Coming, ready or not? Once upon a time in a land far away... See here? Sheep. Yep. Over there. There they are, donkeys. You can catch them if you're smart. And camels too, eh, Queenie? Theories like that, as far as we know, were never properly tested. And in the pet shop scene, you have all babies crawling over you, don't you? Mm, there he comes one. Oh, it's a customer. Hi. Hi, and welcome to Here in the West. The paddle wheels were designed to stir the water, which had its temperature carefully measured. And another one. Oh, two. And another one. Three babies. Mm. They would have said that when the force of the push stopped... <laughs> Hello, Rollercastrians! Welcome to This Day Tonight. And joining me is Commission reporter Alan Carpenter. It has been very difficult. This innocent looking Subiaco office building features prominently in one of the slickest plots ever designed to defraud the Perth Mint of Gold.
Farmers say they don't have any problems distinguishing between the ducks. Following the allegations of bias... This is the aftermath. It's a local station, and it's got a fierce policy of promoting that which is Albany. Witnesses say at least 15 shots were fired. A laser light orbits the object, in this case my head, and reads the terrain. The 150 hectares, that's about 370 acres of land. We're now being told that genes, tight genes, make you fat. Others in the community haven't been so lucky. Basically, the argument against Operation Noah goes something like this. It's the Mr Biggs who get the drugs, import them and then divide them. And now a step back in time to news from decades past. I would like to enter politics at some time, yes. And who's this earnest scholar from 1971? Well, I hope to go to St John's College, Oxford, next year. Jeff Gallup, now Western Australia's opposition leader. Theatre goers who have been complaining about the rash of realistic kitchen sink dramas. This is the eighth day of the metal workers' strike, and here outside Vickers Hoskins in Bassendine, the men are lining up for their pay. All was quiet there this morning until a tiny delivery van took the strikers by surprise. Once it was realised the driver was a woman, the incident was taken only semi-seriously. Opponents remain hopeful West Australians will reject daylight saving. Vote yes for daylight saving. West Australians have rejected daylight saving. Don't like it at all. The anti-daylight saving lobby need no longer worry. Oh, I think it's really beautiful. While people continue to debate whether or not daylight saving fades to paintwork, daylight saving is no more. How has daylight saving affected your fishing? And it gets better. Big Jeff and little Kate are here too. And an emu up a gum tree. G'day and welcome to a Wednesday night people night and a whole lot of Australians who've dared to be different. This garden is a gift to the people of Western Australia. Hi and welcome to our annual look at the Festival of Perth. And here we are uh, waiting with uh, some of the British families who live here to talk with their relatives in London. Don't be a hero. No. Hi, tonight a show I know a lot of people are looking forward to. As their name implies, the West Highland White Terrier comes in one colour, white. They're great little dogs and it's so cute as we saw in the story. Hello, welcome once again to the garden. If there's one thing that's worse than finding a maggot in your fig, it's finding half a maggot. It's Saturday morning at Channel 2 and the outside broadcast van is heading for Fremantle Oval to set up for today's football. The America's Cup is coming to Fremantle. It's gone. 
welcome to our special live broadcast of the visit of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. The Holy Father, Pope John Paul, at Perth Airport. In the prime viewing hours, Channel 2, the station that traditionally lags in the ratings, led the field. Good evening. I'm Alan Carpenter. Welcome to the first edition of State Line. Mr Singleton later told him about a meeting involving Laurie Connell. Peter, the pro-life MPs certainly want to debate some amendments. I'm Gillian O'Shaughnessy. Now repeating tonight's headline stories. Strong easterly winds had whipped up the fire burning on a huge front. But many West Australians were not prepared to accept the destruction by man of the historic old barracks. Good evening. Welcome to State Line. Welcome to State Line. I'm Tom Batley. But it was really only this year that the Triple C's reputation went national. It's been almost two years since three truck drivers were killed in a ferocious bushfire. Perth is increasingly using surveillance technology to watch our every move. Now here's David. Thank you, Peter. Warm night for Perth last night. And that's our sport on a busy Saturday night. Well, let us deal with the southern half first of all. Karen Tai has more. Alicia, an impressive display from Australia's bowlers. Quite a cold night last night. We got down to 3.6. As Australia charges towards victory with a day to play in the second test. Perth tomorrow, sunny. A minimum of 13, the top of 24. Interstate tomorrow, we can look forward to uh, late storms in Darwin. Now here with the weather is Dennis Buckley. Thanks Kevin, good evening. Some rather heavy falls I'm afraid over most of Perth and the southern part of the state. And uh, I'm awfully sorry about that but... Oh no, this is just too much! No, it's just too much! I can't hold up! Amazing. I never thought that 5,000 people in Perth today would come and see how their eight cents a day is spent. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night and goodbye. <laughs>